What's going on guys? I hope you're all having a good one today. So guys, it's been a while since I've done an opening and this is an opening video. So go ahead and sit back and relax guys and enjoy this opening. Uh, so I happened to pick up a Scarlet and Violet box today and I figure I go ahead and take you guys on the adventure of opening this box. So yeah guys, Scarlet and Violet is officially here. A brand new generation of Pokemon guys. Let me know what you guys think. Have you guys opened up any Scarlet boxes yet? Because I know there's some places that are doing, you know, they're just, I guess, doing early launch. Because that's where I went to. I went to my LGS and they're doing early launch. Put the right side right there. Yeah, so let me know, guys. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the background. Just for aesthetics. So, yeah. Guys, if you guys have already seen videos already, I've already watched a couple videos of some openings, but I have no clue like what's really in this set, to be completely honest with you, in this new generation Pokemon. So yeah, we'll see what that's all about. And I just shook my camera. So there's no card tricks anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go right through it, guys. So here we go. All right, let me just, just do this. All right, so here we go, guys. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the product, man. So I'm already uh, I'm already a fan of this product already from what I've seen so far. I guess each product gets like these. I guess you get a couple reverse hollows. I think so. Like something like this, you get like a reverse hollow that comes with it and energy. So yeah, the energy is gonna be the last card in the back. Silver borders. It's definitely new. I definitely know everyone's been so used to the last 20 years of just the gold standard, literally. So yeah. Uh, so yep, got that. Yeah, so like the silver borders, I'm, I'm, I think I like it. I'm not gonna lie, I think I like it. Definitely going to be an adjustment for a lot of people, but overall the gold is behind us and the next generation of Pokemon is here, guys. So yeah, and we got a professor's research as, uh, oh, that's not a hollow. I thought that was like a hollow, but this is our reverse hollow right here. Uh, okay, we have our first hit. Okay, here we go. Iron Treads. Here we go. It's our first EX. It's our first hit. That's a beauty right there. Moving right along, guys. I just got- I just grabbed my sleeves. Now we are all good in the hood. So now it's like, uh, it's, uh, now it's, what, 140 plus tax? That's how much I spent on this one. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm not really too thrilled as anybody would be thrilled about the new prices, obviously. But yeah, um, I like the borders. I like the feel of these cards, guys. They feel a lot more um, durable than like our last Pokemon. Okay, a professor's research. Okay, okay. Wow, wow. Okay, we're off. We're off to a great start so far. The, the video does not do any justice as far as like how it looks. You know, um, I really, really like the silver with like the um, with the hollow with the hollows and the reverse hollows and stuff. So. Yeah, but anyways, so going back, the prices are, I'm not too thrilled about, but, you know, hopefully in time, hopefully with inflation, I hope it does go down to like standard price, like a 130, you know, I'm not asking for much, but yeah, hopefully it's uh, nothing that is long term as far as price. Okay, anyways, we're, we're barely on the left side, guys. We're barely on the left side. And so far, I'm really liking what I'm getting so far um but i just pull okay so there we go cool um so far i'm liking what I'm, I'm getting and i see something back there oh man all right let's see what we get oh boy all right yeah just let me know man like if you guys really like these silver borders i really like these silver borders all right here we go we're coming up on some oh not yet it's our next card that's a really nice card i like the artwork on this it's really nice i really love the artwork on this and okay, I thought it, was, it looked like a hit, but it, okay, another reverse radiance. I'm really excited about this new generation of Pokemon, to be honest with you. And that's just my honest take. The one thing I don't like, though, to be honest with you guys, um, besides price, because that's my kind of like my only like legitimate complaint, um, is basically, um, like, what is the long term, right? as far as like the Pokemon product, the, pro the Pokemon scene. I'm concerned more about the new show, the the, the novelty of Pokemon, because this is the first in like 20 years, the novelty. And with the novelty, 
there can be some things that can get really screwed up over time. And okay, whoa, okay. This is a very nice card. Whoa, whoa. whoa okay, double hitter. Okay, okay. A Radiance, that's Reverse Radiance. And look at this, guys. A Spidops EX. That is a that The artwork is just nice, man. Wow, that is a nice, nice, nice card. Dude, we're not even like halfway done yet with the left side, so... Man, that is just... The artwork on these are just amazing, man. Crown Zenith feel, I would say, with these pack openings right now so far. Um, just has a lot of Crown Zenith feel to it, I would say. So, let me make sure that's, that's energy. Um, so, you know, I'm really just liking this so far. This product is really nice, man. Really nice artwork, man. Like, the artwork just looks so good on these cards. Um, but that's my only complaint. Like, what's the, the, the novelty, right? Like I was talking about. You know, there's a lot of uncertainties with, like, newer things and stuff. This is our hits, Reverse Radiant. Um, but yeah, I would say that's the novelty. Like I was talking about, hopefully the Pokemon company doesn't do anything to screw up, uh, you know, the, the, the people, the buyers, the sellers, investors, the collectors over time. Um, and we just won't know until long term. We, you know, we can't really know. Um, so we'll see, like, as we go further uh, into the new scene. Okay, this is a reverse holo. I gotta save my reverse holos because I do sell those. Uh, if you guys are new to my channel, I'm a seller on TCG Player and on eBay. So, uh, yeah, just obviously with the uh, with the radiance and uh, and the reverse holos, those are worth money. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyways, so. Yeah, this is a, just a good product so far. I'm really enjoying this so far. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to speed it up as much as I can. So I'm already 10 minutes in. I want you guys to overstay your welcome. I'm just kidding, guys. You guys can stay as long as you want. I'm the one who's taking forever. <laughs> oh, man. All right, here we go. This is our reverse radiant. So far, so good, guys. We're off to a pretty good start. I like the hits that we hit so far. PokeTuber, so I'm not a pro when it comes to opening this. Like PokeRev and all those guys who are just so good at opening packs who are clearly professionals. Clear professionals. I am not a professional. <laughs> I'm a professional seller, not an opener. <laughs> All right, man. All right, we're about a little bit halfway. I got a few. I think we got a handful of packs up on the left side. And then we're gonna move on to the left side. Uh, man, dude. All right, here we go. So we got our reverse hollow, reverse hollow, and a radiance. Like I, I just don't. I think. It just has a lot of like a like a lot of crown zenith vibe. Uh, yeah, I don't know what those are called. And as you guys see, my 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 skill of flipping through these cards is not efficient. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I just want to thank a lot of you guys who have subscribed the last few days. Obviously, you guys are finding value in. Okay, we got something. I think. Oh, we got something. Okay, here we go. A Spidops EX. That's a very nice card. Like I said, if you are new to my channel, my name is Jim Poles. And I am an eBay seller. I am a TCG player uh, seller as well. Get better at doing it, man. You know, I wish there were like Yu-Gi-Oh packs. I'm, I'm a, I grew up on Yu-Gi-Oh most of the time throughout my life, you know. And packs on Yu-Gi-Oh are just like effortless. <laughs> but yeah. Um. Anyways, I want to thank guys. I want to thank you guys for subscribing to this channel, the newer guys and people that have supported me since this channel has opened, man. Just, I'm really thankful. I think I'm almost at. 100 subscribers so far i'm really thankful for the support this is my first youtube channel and so thank you for the support man i really appreciate the pokemon community for supporting me and i don't think i got anything i just saw something back there but it could be like a look at that artwork man i really like the artwork on these commons i think they stepped it up on the commons because the no one really i mean if you're unless you're like a you know a player that plays the game no one really cared about Ooh, a starly okay that is a nice card I think we have another one back here too. Okay. Wow. Okay. That is a nice hit too. A, re a reverse radiance. Um, all right, guys. Well, I'm going to try to speed it up as much as I can. And just um, just uh, cut the right side so that way I can cut the time. So you guys are not here. Just, you know, unless you want to be here. I always welcome those who want to be here. Uh, very nice radiance. Um, let me know what, like, what vibe you guys get from this new set. Like I said, the set doesn't drop until, what did I say? What, on Friday? Yeah, and it's Tuesday, so I got it a couple days early. And yeah, okay, I see some back there. I see some back there, but 
Dude, this artwork is just so good, man. Like, I just, I, I hope all you guys out there get a hold of this Crown Zenith. <laughs> I just call it Crown Zenith. Oh my gosh. I'm like me, I don't, I don't open up packs that often um, because I run a business, you know, and I'm just really busy with my business, with my Pokemon business and stuff. So I really just mainly sell just the sealed product as itself. I don't have a distributor, so I mean, obviously I'm selling uh, other booster boxes. Uh, okay, we got a hit. Here we go. Okay, I think we got one. Oh, no, we didn't get any. Oh, man, but that's a beautiful Radiance, man. That's what, like, a major complaint in a lot of TCG. Um, like, and, like, Magic the Gathering, for example. Uh, even with, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! Just, like, the value that you get in these packs. It was, like, the main complaint. I think Pokemon really listened to the feedback of the, of the, of the buyers, of the people. And I think they saw that they needed to make more uh, good value in each of your packs value of them right so just keep that in mind you know but i just like i just like how they're adding more value to each pack because everyone loves hollows and reverse hollows even if they're not worth much people are going to appreciate them you know all right here we go i think we're coming up on something okay that's reverse hollow and oh okay this is a nice card even though it's probably not worth that much probably might maybe like worth like a dollar maybe the right side um Guys, you know what I was wondering the other day? I really just like want to just like really just put this out here. But what's the what is the world record for how fast to open packs? What's the world record? Do you guys know? I'm really curious on that. Who has the best like pack opening skills out there? Because I really respect the pack openers who literally just open packs and do this literally every single day. <laughs> like my fingers hurt right now by doing this. Uh, but what's the best? Like, do you guys know? Like, link me a link of a world record, because I'm really curious to know. Okay, and another Spidops? I think that's our last hit. Yeah, let me know. I'm, I'm really curious. I know Pokerev, in my opinion, like, he has, like, he literally can go through, like, a booster box in, like, five. Like, probably less than that, man. Like, Pokerev, I think, is, like, the fastest. Uh, ooh, look at that. I damaged that corner. Hopefully I didn't damage, okay, I didn't damage the good card back there. But yeah, I think Pokerev, in my opinion, is like the fastest pack opener on YouTube, I would say. I don't know who can beat him or who can compete against him. Maybe they, sh maybe he should compete, you know, against someone that is like close to his level. Okay, we got another one. That's the, that's like the step up that I think the Pokemon company did. That I think was a good, like a really good job in my opinion. Was to add more value by adding just a little bit more to each pack. So that's, that's really good. I like that a lot. And yeah, so anyways, yeah. So find me the, be the best Pokemon pack, you know, person that opens packs. And I wanna watch. Find me a YouTube video, let me watch. All right guys, here we go. I think we're, ooh, a, a rare candy. Okay, okay, okay. I think we got something else back here too. Okay, let's go guys. We got a double banger. Wow, that is beautiful. These are nice cards guys. Look at that, that is beautiful. Very nice. I'm really happy with that. Yeah. Didn't know the prizes. I only know the prizes on the special illustration cards. Uh, that might be a special. I don't think that's a special illustration. It's an EX card. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I doubt that we have the Miriam. I know that's the card that everyone's chasing. The Miriam. You guys know the Miriam in the Japanese set is worth $600. Wow. Okay. Here we go. We got another hit. Cool. Very cool. Oh, yeah. Like, I really love the artwork on these. I'm gonna hire someone to open up Pokemon packs for me on stream. <laughs> so that way, I'm not taking too much time. But, anyways, yeah, so. Here we go, guys. Um, as I was saying, man, uh, the Miriam in the Japanese set, I don't know if you guys have bought the Scarlet EX booster box or. Ooh, look at that. That's a nice card. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you guys ever bought the new Japanese sets for Scarlet and Violet. The Miriam? for the violet set because in japanese they they set they do separate boxes like there's a, there, there's a scarlet box and then there's um and then there's uh the violet box scarlet and violet right and those cards man or i'm sorry those booster boxes man you know uh are like worth i think the violet box is worth like 150 bucks now scarlet's worth like i think um 
I don't know how much it's worth. I think it's like, what, 95 bucks now? Is it Miriam in that? I think it's in the, is it in the violet box? That's why violet's so expensive in the Japanese box. Um, because it's literally worth $600. Isn't that crazy? I think that price is going to drop because it's, that's really inflated. Um, it could drop to like, maybe like 200 bucks. I would say on the Japanese side, because it's just so expensive. You know, I can't imagine someone spending $600 on a, it's raw. All right, guys, we're coming up on, let's get this done within the next two minutes. We're coming up towards the end of this. I'm really liking this, this set so far, this new base set. Let me know your guys' opinions so far on this. But yeah, man, this is, this is, this is going to be a fun, fun new, uh, new generation of Pokemon, I, I, I would say. About, ooh, we still got a decent amount of packs left. We got a decent amount of packs. I'm going to try to get this done. Get you guys out of here. Show you guys the cards. Show you guys some good cards. Because that's what you guys came here for. All right, here we go. And yeah, so let's be honest. If this would have happened if the show was not good, the new Pokemon show, right? What if the show was not good? What's going to happen to the Pokemon as a whole? Will people just stop being interested in it because think about it, guys. The show from back in the day is what got people into Pokemon. I will never forget. Do you guys remember Pokemon 2000, the Mewtwo, the Mewtwo movie? Do you guys remember that back in the day? That that movie was just so like good. I think I remember how. Okay, there's a card back here and I can't get it. Okay, here we go. We got something back here. Oh, what did we get? Oh, okay. A great tusk. I thought it was something crazy. No, a great tusk is okay. Saying, guys, remember back in the old days of just like Pokemon 2000 when that came out? What was it, 23 years ago at this point? Wow. Like, that was just so long ago. Like, is is Pokemon going to continue to do big feats like that in, in, like, in the show? Because now it's a new generation. There's new kids coming up. There's new, you know, there's new people in Pokemon that are new to Pokemon and what's, what's going to happen? You know, you can't, you gotta, you got to, you know, find new people that are going to be interested. You know, the, obviously my generation, you know, we're going to be doing Pokemon for the rest of our lives, right? But what about the new generation, you know? So that's just my thing. Cause the show, if the show sucks. You know, I think it can definitely hurt the Pokemon company as a whole if the show's just not captivating enough um, for the new viewers, for viewers and stuff. So just keep that in mind. Like, think about Yu-Gi-Oh, man. Yu-Gi-Oh, the first four seasons, the original Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm not talking about GX. I think GX wasn't that good. Um, but as far as, like, the Poke um, Yu-Gi-Oh, the, man, the original OG Yu-Gi-Oh, man, is what got people into Yu-Gi-Oh and the card game itself. It was just such a great show back in the day. Um, professor's research. It was just such a good show back in the day. And I just hope this new show that's coming out. So how many packs we got? We got one, two, three, four, five packs, guys. I just hope the new show doesn't suck. So that way this tradition of Pokemon continues worldwide and we get the new, we get new people to build, uh, or not build, but rather, uh, come into the community the newer the newer kids come into the community that'd be awesome you know because I definitely want to open up Pokemon cards with my kids when I do have kids someday just so they can get into something because this is it's a fun hobby it's a fun hobby that's how we all got into it you know and yeah so we're coming up on four packs guys packs within the next like minutes how many packs can I open in one minute probably not that much but, oh, I just saw the card. Oops. I just, I'm going to just go through it. There we go. I just saw the back card. Um, yeah. Okay. Thank you for the support again. I'm really thankful for the support. Overall, like, you know, starting the business and selling TCG products. It's, it's extremely possible, guys. And I had my best month this month of March. And I'm going to do a video and just do like a recap month of my sales for this month uh, for my Pokemon business. And just show you guys, like, my revenue that i've done because it's my best month i've ever had and i've been doing this since last august so you know i definitely want to inspire people and help people to you know be motivated to start a pokemon business or a tcg business doesn't matter what it is and you know you can definitely turn this into a side hustle you can turn this into 
a part-time job, you can turn this into a full-time job, depending on how far you take this, you know? And I just wanna just help people out there that are just have those aspirations to work hard and to, you know, and, and to do something that, you know, has a lot of fulfillment. And this is, this is by far, I love doing this. I love selling Pokemon cards. I love selling, um, you know, Pokemon in general. And yeah, so last pack magic guys, let's go ahead and end it here. And let's see what we get. And yeah, here we go guys, last pack magic. This is one thing I do like about these new card setups is that there's no card tricks. And I was never a fan of the card tricks. <laughs> so let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Come on. Let's get so let's get something good. Let's end it. Let's end it well. Let's end it well. Oh, we got something back here. Okay. That's 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 a nice card. Very nice artwork. Oh, we got something else back here? Did we get something else? Oh, a Gyarados. Okay, here we go. Oh right. That is a nice card. Beautiful card. Very beautiful, man. Let me go ahead and recap. Let me show you guys. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the hits that I got. I'll be right back. Let me go ahead and cut this video really quick. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and just show you my hits really quick. So here we go. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve hits. So that was 12 hits. Those were our hits. But look at this. This is what I was, this is what I'm talking about. This right here, this is all uh, Radiance, Radiance and, um, and Reverse Hollows. Look how many cards that is. I don't know how the, the much the value is for these cards, but man, these cards add up over time for, as a seller, someone like me. And those might, those might be each like 50 cents each to a dollar. So those are nice, plus TCG shipping and stuff. So man, I'm really happy with that, guys. If you guys like today's video, go ahead and give me a sub, give me a like. And stay tuned for more videos on my channel, guys. Thank you so much for the support. I love you guys. Thank you for the support. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good rest of your time. Take it easy, guys.